guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and I'm back. I'm back from Florida. I was in Miami for five days. I actually landed Monday night. I'm sorry that I couldn't do a meetup. I really wanted to, but I got like really, really sunburned for like two days. I was just like in bed. Like I was going out to eat, but then I would not go out at night because I was just like in so much pain and my face was just like peeling and it just didn't look good. And we had so many like things to do that didn't get to do a meetup but I think I'm going back to Florida in August so if I do I will for sure for sure plan a meetup ahead of time at least two weeks in advance so you guys can plan ahead but I really am sorry that I couldn't meet some of you guys but I am here today with a tutorial I know I'm extremely extremely tan I actually got a spray tan on the last day that I was in Miami by my girl Faith Star. I will leave a link down below to her website. If you're in the Miami area, definitely check her out. If you go get a spray tan, she'll give you $5 off if you mention my name, like you know, that I recommended you. And I am like so black. Like I was red and then it went away, so I kind of got a little pale the last day that I was there. So she tanned my whole body and I am like bronze. Like I am this so so tan and I love this color some of it is because of the Sun but most of it is because of the spray tan I went like six shades darker with the tan and it's really really nice and it looks really natural I will leave a link down below to the shirt that I'm wearing as well as this gorgeous necklace which actually inspired me to do my eyes today I did like a sparkly glitter color I used a lot of motives cosmetics because I actually was sent a package and so I want to try most of the products out so I can give you guys like a review kind of like a kiss it or diss it on my favorite products and things that I didn't like so much but so far I'm loving their line I'm obsessed with their pigments they're so 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 glittery and pigmented the reason why I took off the Sephora inspired wall was because I wanted to either have a quote on my wall or paintings and I don't know I just felt like the black and white stripes were just closing my room off and my room is very very small already so I don't know I just felt kind of like I couldn't really do much with the black and white. I don't know. I just felt I was over it. I'd rather paint it away for me and yeah, I'm ready to change it up. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with foundation. I'm using the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush with some spray on it. So I basically just wet the brush and I'm using the NYX Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation. And this is in the color Caramel. But I did mix in some of my Lancome Taint Miracle 6W because caramel was a little bit too dark slash red for my skin. So I just mixed a little bit of a lighter foundation. Now I'm jumping right into my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette. And I'm using a couple of different colors with an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush. This is eyebrow brush number 7. And I am just uh, fixing my eyebrows up. Now I did get them done right after this because I noticed they were a little... Uh, I don't know unruly they look a little messy so I'm just cleaning them up and then just blending that out with a spoolie now I'm using the motives eye primer and this is just a base and uh, doesn't have a color it's just their eye base but it's very very light and I don't know how I feel about it yet um, it made the color stand out but I just I don't know I'm not crazy about it but it did the job now I'm going in with the Lorac 2 palette and I'm using the light brown shade. It's the second shade in the palette. I am just obsessed with Lorac eyeshadows. I literally want to buy every Lorac palette that they sell because I'm just obsessed with it. So I'm just going to blend this into my crease. silver color also from the Lorac 2 palette and I am just going to pat this along the eyelid and we are going to be adding some glitter but I just wanted to get a silver base down and this color is super duper duper pigmented I am loving this palette now I'm taking my favorite brush the Sigma E36 it's a blending brush and it's so precise and I'm using the color cork which is a MAC color and I am just going to apply this into the crease just deepen that up a little bit I'm gonna be actually adding a darker color but that's gonna be after I add the glitter to my eyelid so also from the Lorac palette I'm using the color buff and it's a 
cream kind of like eggshell color and I actually use a brighter color after this this wasn't bright enough but um, I think it was just the brush that I was using because it looks really bright in the pan but I'm just going to use that as my uh, eyebrow color and now I'm using the color kid by Mac and I'm just transitioning everything all together and blending that all and I'm using a Morph brush. It's one of my favorite blending brushes. I don't know the name of it. I really need to find out because it is amazing. And then I'm going back in with cork, just lifting that up a little bit. Now the Star product. This is the uh, Motives Cosmetics. This is a glitter pot in Celebrate and I added a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Genius to my hand and then applied the brush to my hand and then the brush to the glitter if that made any sense <laughs> and I'm just using patting motions because patting motions really packs on the color and the beauty genius will just basically let the glitter adhere to your eyelid and as you can see I don't have that much fallout and I do have some on my cheeks you can do your foundation after you do your eyes if you want to avoid this and now I'm going in with lingering by MAC to just sharpen up my brows Time for concealing. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sable and I am blending that out with a damp beauty blender. And this color is a tad bit too light for my skin tone right now, but hey, I'm gonna work with it because that's what I got for now. <laughs> you know I love a bright under eye anyway. So I'm doing my liquid liner. I'm using the Motives Cosmetics Liquid Liner and I am so, so sorry that I only show one eye, but thought I was in frame in the other eye, but of course I wasn't. So I am just doing a wing and I love this. It is super duper black. I love it. So I just added some of NYX whipped cream shadow to my brow bone and in the inner tear duct. And I'm gonna be applying some of the Motives mascara and then the House of Lashes noir fairy lashes and uh they are super duper pretty i'm in love with them i can't wait to wear them again my under eye with the banana ben nye powder and now i'm just adding shell shock from the urban decay vice 2 palette which is a beautiful beautiful silver pigmented color and i'm just adding that over any spots that don't have any glitter because i don't like bare spots and now i'm adding saddle by mac and this is a very reddish warm toned brown shade and i'm just smudging that underneath my eye and then some more mascara this is the motives mascara and it is super duper black and it has a very gel like formula which you guys know I absolutely love in a mascara so now it's time to warm up the face I'm using this NYX matte bronzer and this is in the number five and I'm using the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush I know this is quite expensive but I absolutely adore this brush and I'm just warming up my face and I actually hate using bronzer when I'm tan because I feel like it just looks cray cray up my brows a bit more I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in dark brown and I am using a MAC angled brush and I'm just going to apply this really to the edges of my brows to deepen up the color and just balance them out because my face is quite dark at the moment and I actually really love the way that they came out <laughs> and now I am just um, adding orgasm blush by NARS which looks really really great on tan skin let down your hair girl 
Now I'm using this NYX shadow and this is in Guilt Trip and that same Sigma brush from earlier, the E36, the blending brush to deepen up that crease a bit more. And I'm just focusing that on the edges and bringing it forward just a bit. For the highlight, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder Powder Palette <laughs> in Incidescent Light and an Elf Brush. And for my lips, I am lining them with the NYX Hot Pink Lip Liner. And I'm just going to actually fill in my whole lip with this lip liner because I felt like it was just going to act as a great base for the lipstick that I'm about to use, which is absolutely Amaze Balls. Yes, Amaze Balls. And it is by MAC, and it is from the Kelly Collection, or the Osborne Collection, and it is Kelly Yum Yum. It is actually very, very similar to Candy Yum Yum, so it is just a shade or two different. But it's very, very similar, so if you have Candy Yum Yum, go ahead and use that. And I'm sorry, I don't know the color of my nails. It's a Galaxy Club gel nail polish i will try to find out asap this is the anastasia beverly hills concealer and i just felt like carving out my brows because like i said before they're not done in this video so i'm using the shade 3.0 which is as you can see a little light and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills brush which is amazing for this stuff now i am just setting my face with the 10 years younger motives face setting spray and that is the entire look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah i will see you in the next one bye guys i think it's wednesday morning right this is today's wednesday i don't even know what time <laughs> uh, i just noticed my ec was on this whole time la, 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 la. my like bra straps keep falling like hot Ugh. Apple bum and I'm here. I'm back. What? I'm here. I'm almost at 100k. I'm almost at 100k. Hey, 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 hey. And like boots got smaller or what? But ugh. This is like the longest giveaway of life. But we should be announcing the winners very soon. I'm just waiting on Lisa. But yeah, should be soon. Should be soon, girl. Mwah.